Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be talking about Boys Over Flowers. This drama is probably the most dreaded review. I don't like this drama, I don't like it. Let's just get into it because um, the sooner this is over, the better. Boys Over Flowers is a modern spin on the classic Cinderella story. It's about a poor girl called Jandi who ends up attending the prestigious school for the rich and famous. She wants no fuss and she basically wants to go to the school unnoticed, but considering you're in a school for rich people, you're, uh, you're gonna get noticed. So yeah, she wants to spend her years at the school unnoticed, but she attracts the attention of the school's most handsome, richest, and popular boys, known as the F4. Oh dear. Anyone else feel like this drama could have ended in like 16 episodes? Um, I do. This drama is way too long for my liking, and it's just fucking repetitive all the fucking time. <sighs> I lost count to how many times the main characters broke up with one another and made up. I was getting a migraine from it. If you like each other, stay the fuck together. If you don't like each other, go your separate ways. Or try to make it work. If you do that, parents get involved. More trouble. People will either hate this drama or love it. For me personally, I'm somewhere in the middle but I'm leaning more towards the hate. The reason why I don't hate it that much is because I watched it really early on in my Korean drama viewing. But because I did like it, it's made me go on to watch more Korean dramas, if that makes sense. So that's gonna count for something, right? Otherwise, I wouldn't have watched a lot of dramas by now. I'm currently watching That Winter the Wind Blows um, and that's going down very slow um, because I've started watching Running Man. Yeah, that is hilarious. But there's like 500 odd episodes and I'm on like 37, episode 37. Uh, so I'm like trying to watch Korean dramas but also watch Running Man, you know, so I take it in turns. But with this hot weather, I can't seem to find anything to do, um, well, enjoyable, uh, an enjoyable thing to do because I hate this weather. I hate being warm, I hate being sweaty, I hate being smelly. Please let me have cold weather so that I can go on to finish that winter the wind blows because at the moment i can't seem to stick to doing one thing but yeah that winter the wind blows is going really slow i can't enjoy it because of the weather so let's pray for rain or cold weather as you can tell i don't want to talk about boys over flowers because it's shit but it's good shit you basically get what you'd expect okay you get a lot of teen angst, a lot of misunderstandings, jealousy, the ridiculous. Oh, like, do you know when you watch um, dramas that are like based in school and you've got like the popular boys and girls are like this with their phones and, oh, and like clearing a path for them to walk? That doesn't happen. I'm basically slating this drama. I'm so sorry, but I've got nothing nice to say about it other than the fact that weirdly it got oh, no matter. If you haven't watched Boys of a Flowers, which is kind of impossible because I feel like everyone who loves Korean dramas has seen this drama. Yeah, if you haven't, just expect a lot of arguing, breaking up, and wooing um between the main characters and expect a lot of cliches in this it was exhausting to keep up with these two the story itself is absolutely ridiculous but weirdly it still managed to keep me hooked boys of the flowers is a must see in the korean drama world i feel like it's one of those dramas that you have to watch 
to make up your own opinion of it. This drama is probably one of the most famous dramas out there. Don't ask me why. But again, it's one of those dramas where you love it or you either hate it. There's no in between. I've literally just contradicted myself. My overall rating of this drama is three stars, um, even though I want to give it less stars, but I won't. What really frustrates me about this drama is that because it's not a fantastic drama, right? Right? Some of you might think different, okay? But for me, even though this drama was really not great, you can still remember it. Like, I've watched some really good dramas in the past, but after a few weeks or so, you tend to forget about them and you forget what, what happened. But this shitty drama manages to make me remember it, even though I don't want to. You know, like Mr. Sunshine, Moon Lovers, W, Two Worlds, Goblin. You know, they were really enjoyable dramas, really, really good dramas and very enjoyable to watch but like a few weeks you know because i watched them ages ago i can't seem to remember what happened how it ended the story but i managed to still remember boys over flowers which is infuriating like <laughs> overall an okay watch i definitely won't be watching this again because it's exhausting that's it for this video thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye